guys, it's Kale, and it's day four of Tag Week. I kind of broke it up there. I didn't have to do Saturday and Sunday because I had stuffs going on, so it carried over into this week. So uh, you get a tag video every week, day. Today, I am doing the Christmas movie book tag. I was most recently tagged by Mel over at Books with Wings, and I'm really excited to do this one because it's festive and it's fun and it's holidays and all sorts of happy yays. So let's get started with the Christmas movie book tag. Question number one. Elf, name a book that made you laugh out loud. One More Thing by B.J. Novak. It's a collection of short stories by B.J. Novak, who most of you know uh, wrote for The Office and is on The Mindy Project. It is this brilliant collection of short stories which I'm not normally a huge fan of however they're funny and endearing and I just have a specific moment in my head involving Elvis grandma and a certain naughty deed. Lots of funny things happen in here and I definitely recommend it if you are seeking to start looking in the short stories genre or if you are a lover of short stories and haven't picked this up please pick this up because it's excellent. Question number two is Arthur Christmas, a middle grade reader book that you think that adults would love. Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I think it's an excellent story that any age should read. It's about being yourself and loving yourself and kind of going against the flow and going against the norm uh, about a young girl named Stargirl who shows up in a school one day in Arizona and about the boy and the people around her trying to get used to her and her trying to get used to them and you know she's not foreign she's not alien or any sort of thing like that she's just star girl question number three white christmas a classic that you think everyone should read east of eden by john steinbeck guys pick up this book if you're gonna read one like classic literature in your life this is one to do it it comes in so many different forms it's been republished so many times it's an excellent story that's how do you describe East of Eden? It follows the story of the Trasks and the Hamiltons whose stories very much emulate that of Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and sort of the start of humanity. There's symbolism and amazing concepts and theories in here as well as just beautiful writing and character development and it's a fascinating story and I really like it a lot if you can't tell from the probably six dozen times I've mentioned it on my channel. Question number four and that is Love Actually, a book with a large cast of characters and for this one I'm gonna go with Sweet Scarlet by Maureen Johnson and this is actually my favorite Maureen Johnson book series. She swears there's going to be a third one coming out, but there hasn't been for many years. So right now there's Sweet Scarlet and Scarlet Fever, and it's about a young girl whose large family, I think there's five kids, maybe four, and her parents that own a hotel in New York, and about her weird adventures going through there. It doesn't get mentioned around a lot on booktube. Maureen Johnson I actually don't find to be a, an author of popular talk here on booktube and so I just wanted to mention these books. It's not the largest cast of characters that I've ever read and it's not the smallest either but I like the family dynamics of the book. I like Scarlet as a character and I really 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 want a final book in the trilogy. Question number five. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Name a book with a great villain. Prince Humperdinck from The Princess Bride I think is a hilarious villain that may not be taken so seriously but he poses a real threat. You know what I mean? Not to mention the six-fingered man. Like you can't get over the villains in this book and this well-crafted beautiful story. Personally enjoy the movie better than the book. Don't stone me. I still think the book does a great job you know, constructing this story and making you fall in love with this land. Even the villains, as awful as they are, sucking years of life out of people, I think that they're well crafted and wonderful. Question number six, It's a Wonderful Life, a book that made you think about life. This one I had to think about what was like the earliest book that made me think about life, and that is Eon Colfer's The Wish List. Eon Colfer is mostly known for his Artemis Fowl series, but this is a standalone about a young girl, Meg, who dies suddenly. And normally people get split off into heaven and hell in this world. It's, it's Earth, essentially, but in this version of the afterlife. And she is dead center. Like, she has enough points to go to hell and enough points to go to heaven. And so she gets sent back to Earth to sort of test out what 
side she's going to fall on. Yet she's dead and you're wanting her to get a second chance the whole time and you're wanting her to do the good things but she's not necessarily a good person. And this is a middle reader book. Wonderful and thought provoking. And as a kid you really don't always think about these concepts and this book made me analyze it in different ways and think about it when I really hadn't contemplated it before. Question number seven, The Polar Express. A book where a main character goes on an adventure. Hobbit, guys, like, it's the first one that I thought of other than the book I'm reading right now. But to me, this is the classic journey epic. Like, it, The Hobbit, it's the classic journey epic story. Fantasy especially, like, how could I not pick this one? Right, question number eight, Frosty the Snowman. Pick a book with a festive cover. And to me, I'm thinking like Christmas and snow and things, but I don't have a lot of books that have that on them. So I picked To Kill a Czar by Andrew Williams and I haven't actually read this one yet. I got it because I'm fascinated with this time period, specifically this event in Russian history which was the assassination of Tsar Alexander II by the terrorist group The People's Will and this is a fictionalized version of it. It's a pretty like snowy cover with a brooding man there which is probably Andre. If you want to know more about this time period message me seriously like I love Russian history. Nerd! I have like no real reason for loving it either other than I just do. Question number nine, bonus question, what is your favorite Christmas holiday movie? Gosh, I have a lot of memories tied to a lot of different movies, but I have to go with It's a Wonderful Life because we've watched it every single year on Christmas Eve since I was a kid, and it's a tradition in my family that I really like. We also tend to watch The Nativity ever since that came out on Christmas Day to remind us the true meaning of Christmas, and I love sitting down and watching those movies with my family, but we also just go through a cycle of movies all the time. We watch My Christmas and A Christmas Story and Santa Claus. Gosh, I love the Santa Claus. It's one of, uh, Tim Allen and the kid and that's one of my favorites too. Those are some ones that hold special memories in my life. If you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it yourself. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite holiday movie or book is. Share the love, share the tag. Until next time, guys. Bye. Oh, God, don't fall. Hippo. Stay.